A lot of you asked me to tape mod my keyboard and see what differences it makes to the feel and sound of the switches. I've already lubricated them if you remember and now I'm trying a tape mod as you suggested. It's basically where you apply tape in multiple layers to the back of the PCB to reduce the sounds. I had almost forgotten that the screws were on the front side of the keyboard and not the back and we'll be trying to open up this keyboard in the laziest, I mean the easiest way possible. In order to open this particular keyboard, the CBGK18 from Cosmic Byte, you don't have to remove all the keycaps, you only have to unscrew a few screws and that's about it. Don't do things in life which are not really required, you'll save a lot of energy. Yes, it may be the right thing to do and people may cringe at you, but ultimately the results are the same. It's interesting that people try to be mean to someone they see online without knowing anything about their life. We are all trying to figure things out as we go along anyways, no one has all the correct answers every single time. Anyways, once the screws are all off, the front and back panel can separate itself. The front one will also have the metal plate, the switches and the PCB all attached to one and the back panel will just be a plastic board. As you can see I had already put some foam inside the keyboard to reduce the reverb as I put it on my desk but now we'll also add some tape to the back of the PCB. Now I've seen some of you use double sided tape here and I'm sure because of the thickness it works very well but I just have this cheap old electric tape which is, well it's old as I said. The glue on this thing is giving up and it's not that useful elsewhere so let's make use of it here. I'll lay horizontal strips here at the back of the PCB and you can also do vertical if you'd like. Depending on the thickness of the tape that you're using you may have to make some holes where the screws would go in. The tape that I'm using is obviously very thin so a screw will easily be able to tear through it so I don't have to do any holes myself. I'll lay multiple layers here as many as I can with the tape that I have. Primarily on the middle area because it will be raised the most if you have put the keyboard on its risers. And some thick layers underneath the spacebar because it's the largest key on the keyboard. The back panel has plenty of room so you can add some foam in there if you haven't already. Some people also use cotton in here, I'm sure that works too but I already had this foam lying around. It's from a packet of shirt that I ordered online. If you want to get a foam like this, simply buy a shirt and then throw away the shirt. You'll be left with the foam that you can use. Now if you had made holes for the screws, it should be relatively easy to put the keyboard's front panel back together. But again, if your tape is thin enough, you can manually puncture holes by pressing it down. This may not have been the best way of doing this, but it's okay to escape the rules that life sets on you once in a while. You don't have to control every single thing to call it a win. That's what we do here, tech and philosophy. Now that the keyboard is back together, let's do a quick sound comparison before and after doing this tape mod. Now these are linear switches as you may have seen earlier, so now that we have added this tape mod they have become even softer. You don't even feel that springiness when you bottom out these keys and I like that. Now to some people this may not be a very good experience, they may think that it's mushy. But to those there's always the tactile switch, clearly linear is not your style. But I quite like it, the sound has reduced even further and the feel is even better for me. Thanks for recommending this. If you're wondering which is this interesting looking keycaps that I have here, you can check out that video from the iCards. And if you want to be part of more discussions like this, you can always join our Discord server. Link is in the description.